What's up guys, it's trying to try tube and Pokemon has broken the world record for their own game releases. Sword and not Sword and Show, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are the best selling games of all time of all Pokemon games. Not even by a small amount, but by an overwhelming amount. See, Pokemon Sword and Shield, in the first three days of its sale, it sold about 2 million copies in Japan and then 2 million copies in the US. 4 million in 3 days for a 60 USD game that is mind blowing. To this day, games like Let's Go have about 14, 15 million in total sales. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet with this bug filled game sold over 10 million copies across Japan and US. Of course, we're gonna be looking at some memes this video, but so yeah, in Japan, Sword and Shield sold 2 million copies in their first three days and then 2 million in the US. But the mind blowing thing here is that this game was called for so long, the no hype season game, the non-existent hype season game. In Sun and Moon, they leaked every small thing in the game. And you want to see how much Sun and Moon stole? Stole? Don't say stole. <laughs> well, that's what people think Game Freak did here. Sun and Moon in Japan in the first nine days of sale sold 2 million units. It makes no sense. Scarlet Valley did five times that amount in a third of the time. Now, granted, Pokemon is growing, but that is an insane record to break. And honestly, I'm rooting for them because I enjoy the games. I'm still waiting for the hype to die down, but they are my favorite Pokemon games right now. I think I like it more than Legends. But yeah, well, I was going to show you something and I forgot. So as evidenced by Pokemon growing, Let's Go sold 3 million in its first week of sales. That's seven days. This is three days. Now, since Pokemon Red and Blue, which have been around for 25 years, they were originally the most sold games of all time because people have had so many years to buy them. You can see here, Pokemon Red and Blue, 30 million in sales. Since Red and Blue, when games come out, like Gold and Silver, which has sizzled for a good 20 years, had 20 million copies. Then Ruby and Sapphire, only 16 million. And it lingered around 16 million for a good while. Diamond and Pearl, 17 million. Black and White, 15 million, went down even which is important because a lot of people are comparing, including me, the way they handled the story in this game, like the passion overused word that they put in black and white. It was a different way of putting in that passion. X and Y again lingered around 16 million, Sun and Moon 16 million, but Sword and Shield, along with the DLC making people revisit it, it went up to a whopping 24 million. And this is like the pinnacle because Pokemon's been growing all this time. And then it was sad to say because Legends Arceus only sold 12 million, which was an incredible, ambitious game in my opinion for them. The semi-open world, the complete different approach. Legends Arceus is essentially a prequel to Diamond and Pearl. So it was sad that it only got 12 million in sales, lifetime sales. Just a side note here, Legends Arceus had that marketing like Scarlet and Violet where they didn't spoil stuff in the games. Origin, Palkia, Dialga, that would have racked up the sales. They would have got at least a couple hundred thousand sales at minimum. They could have spoiled the Volo cutscene with Giratina. Moments like that when you put them in a trailer makes people want to buy the games. So it's like Game Freak tried this approach of not spoiling the juice of the game. And I'm not going to say it failed because Legends Arceus was never going to sell too much because it was, even if it is a main series game, it's looked at as a side game. And so in that regard, th this many sales is a lot, but it might've been disheartening. And we'd have to see with a quote unquote true main series game, if the minimal marketing works or if they go have to go back to spoiling everything like in Sun and Moon. And so we get to Scarlet and Violet. It's out. Game Freak used the honorable approach of not leaking stuff in the trailers. The freaking Area Zero stuff, nothing is shown in the trailers except a bit of the Great Tusk and Iron Shred stuff. There's so much they could have done to have a bunch of news articles on Pokemon, just like Mega Evolution. News articles went crazy over Mega Mew to Mega Blastoise, all that stuff. They saved everything for people to experience in game. Along with not properly promoting the games and two, showing pretty weird footage in their trailers like the two frame NPCs in the background, they showed that in the trailers. 
and still 10 million sales. Pretty much how much Legends got in its lifetime in three days. Okay, let me show you the, the site of uh, the two types of comments. This is the Pokemon we're all waiting for. Finally, a game that truly brings 20 years of excellence in a culmination of excellence. Great experience. Remember to pick this... Is this an ad? <laughs> you had me in the first half. I don't believe you anymore. Well, guess we will see Ultra Scarlet and Violet in a couple years and it'll have the same problems as the original and they will still make bank. Sad face. In other words, this sucker wanted it to fail. He read that Game Freak is doing well and he's pissed. Okay, now let's speak some facts. Do I even have time for memes now? It has been a week since the games have come out. Today, the day you're watching this, I'm uploading the final episode in Area Zero. No spoilers. I'm done the game and I've uploaded it. It's been a week and they've not patched it. A lot of people who played <laughs> the Elite Four, including me, got that weird music where the beat didn't drop it's come to my attention that the beat was supposed to drop and i went through the elite four and champion without the beat dropping the people who buy the game early are kind of your biggest fans and to them they're farting on their snorlax beanbag and for forgetting to patch the game but you know if there's one good takeaway from this it's that game freak hopefully never has to leak everything about their games to get good sales on their Pokemon games. Of course, Game Freak has a lot of work to do, making it less buggy, eventually adding in voice acting and making it just look really clean, like how Let's Go did. Even though that's a different situation, that's not even open world. But when you think of Pokemon, you think of a polished game like that. They have a lot of room to grow and they pretty much gotta fit into the shoes now. The whole world is rooting for them. I think deep down, even the people who are hating on Pokemon want to root for it or are rooting for it so even to the people who are, are hating right now this is good news and then there's this <laughs> i'll blur it but who the frick did that to the credits <laughs> i'm not complaining but i was sad when the credits played and then when that music hit it kind of cheered me up a little because i'm like this is so stupid <laughs> also i have to edit out of my video because it's copyrighted here we got no no publicity is bad public uh, what does this mean there's a chance that it's everyone on Twitter making fun of the game is leading people to buy. Because if you look, the people who aren't in the Pokemon circle want to buy the games because so many people are talking about the bugs in it. I wonder how many, how much it's really helped. Just discovered a new glitch at the start of my playthrough. No idea what triggered this. <laughs> are you on an emulator? <laughs> I told you she's Goku, bro. That's wild. She said, let me get some Pokemon from my secret base. Open my game and this random cartoon Magnemite was floating around my screen. It didn't go away even after fast traveling. <laughs> Yo, what? I currently got a Rufflet. <laughs> who's almost completely upside down. Wait, so the game <laughs> will load a random icon on your screen. <laughs> Yo, this game's hilarious. Legit, this might even be a tactic from Game Freak. So many people are talking about the bugs. It should have died down by now, the bug hype. They got like 500,000 extra sales off this. Oh my god. <laughs> what? This, this is intent. Someone explain how that could have been accidentally programmed. I can't do it because I'm scared of Pokemon now. Sorry, fellas. I won't be able to make it tonight. I'm watching a very specific ability interaction resolve. Anger shell. This is like the shell smash ability. Okay. Yeah, this is so stupid. I don't... Even in raids. Why Why is it this delayed? I can't believe the game... <laughs> I can't believe this is how it is. Oh, <laughs> no. I... Game Freak. Just make the stat changes all load in. This is one of the things that sucks about raids even now. Jigglypuffs are little balloon Pokemon. They really fly off in the wind. Even the blanks do it. They just, if you go to area zero, they be floating up. Could you imagine someone found a shiny and it did that? <laughs> it ain't coming back. A, t a Terra one flew away? Eternally happy that Pokemon don't look like they're made of plastic anymore. This was a much needed change. Pokemon have fuzzy wooliness to them now. Listen, it's gonna take Game Freak another like 10-ish years, but they're working on it. The thing is, I want voice acting in the next games, but they'll probably F it up. So maybe voice acting in the game after. <laughs> Could you imagine F the voice acting? 
Like, it just plays at random times. At Game Freak's pace, they'll probably just have the grunts and their first voice acting games. So you go to Nurse Joy, huh, hey, oh, ha, oh, ha, as you're, as you're spamming it, right? I hope that made sense. Can I understand this, please? <laughs> There's usually a guard chomp up here. I wonder where it is. Oh, there's a guard chomp that assassinates you. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, wait three more Pokemon games for us to take real damage. Want a piggyback? <laughs> she says this. <laughs> she says this in the game. So they knew what they're doing. That was like a million sales right there. Please stop making me want to play the new Pokemon. I'm way too busy. <laughs> Game Freak at work here. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Yo, wait. That's not a bug, though. <laughs> That's not a bug. You planned that. You positioned him perfectly there for this. Hey. Are you happy or are you sad? Does Game Freak deserve the sales or do you want them to crumble and die? That's the question. There is the factor of trust. If this game goes on for a few more days unpatched, people will remember. And next year, the sales will be a bit less. So to at least earn people's trust or maintain people's trust, they will patch the game. I'm certain. Shank that like button and answer the question and I'll see you. Take care. We look, we'll look at more memes. I have more.